We're going to see the muscle stretch reflex. Here would be just the explanation and the, in the next video we will see the comparison between this stretch muscle reflex and the force muscle reflex or inverse muscle reflex. Alright, so here we are going to see the muscle stretch reflex. We have the spinal cord, posterior horn, anterior horn, posterior horn, ah, more or less. Here we have the dorsal root ganglion. We have a muscle. Here, let's put a muscle. We have the central part of the uh, intrafusal fibers are sensed by the type 1A fibers, also called A alpha, uh, but type 1A, and type 2 fibers, or A beta. These are the ones that we care for the muscle stretch reflex. So this is the neuron that is sensing this. Remember that the end is a annulus spiral ending here. And the body of the neuron is in the dorsal root ganglion. So then the axon goes to the anterior horn. And in the anterior horn we have two types of neurons. Two alpha motor neuron, A alpha. Uh, also, it would be a alpha type 1A fiber, but this time is the motor output that is carrying out. And the synapse would be between this, this um, sensory fiber and this lower motor neuron, alpha lower motor neuron, and also synapse with a interneuron. So, here we have a interneuron, and this interneuron is synapsing with another lower motor neuron. So let's say that we uh, we are testing the the quadriceps tendon reflex or the patellar reflex. So we are um, we are stretching the muscle. When we stretch the muscle, this stretching is sensed by this type 1A and type 2 fibers. So the stimuli is coming the stimuli is coming through here. And then it's going to produce a extension of the knee. But this extension of the knee, the extension is we need that the quadriceps muscle be contracted, and the other muscles, the hamstring muscles, the semimembranous, semitendinous, and biceps femori be non contracted. So we will have contraction of the quadriceps muscle and relaxation of the back muscle or the. So the hamstring muscles. So the stimuli is, is going through this motor neuron, this uh, sensory fiber, synapse with this lower motor neuron, alpha um, lower motor neuron, that innervates the quadriceps muscle in the extrafusal fibers of the quadriceps muscle, and then the quadriceps muscle is contracted. But at the same time, is innervating this interneuron, so it's excitizing this interneuron and the interneuron releases an inhibitory neurotransmitter to this other lower motor neuron that this lower motor neuron goes to the hamstring muscles. So this interneuron is releasing GABA to this lower motor neuron so this lower motor neuron is not active and so is not producing contraction of the muscle and so the hamstring muscles are not contracting when we do this patellar reflex. So when we do mm, the patellar reflex, one type of muscle is contracted and the other, the antagonist muscle, is relaxed. The afferent fibers of the reflex are the type 1A and type 2 fibers. And the efferent motor part of the reflex is the type 1A or A alpha is a lower motor neuron. Now, in the next video, we will talk about the the Golgi organ tendon and the comparison between these two reflexes.